Hello and welcome to Quiver HD's how to for the Cyclops product. This is how to get you up and going at home. Very simple and easy. Firstly, you pick up your glasses and you'd notice that on the left arm we have a little mini USB connection along with the mic and the reset button and the on off button is on the same arm. It's this little logo here that's your button to turn turn the camera on and off and to record the video. So I'll firstly show you how to use it and how to connect it to a PC and a Mac. It works on both. You would need your cable that comes with the camera. You have the mini USB connection on one end, normal USB on the other, as well as video and audio outlet if you wanted to connect it to a TV. In this case we'll just connect it to the PC and I'll show you where to get the videos from. Connect uh, one end to the Cyclops, the other end to USB on your computer. Now firstly you would connect the cable then you would hold down this button to turn on the camera. You hold it for three seconds a little green light will turn on here on the inside of the arm and at the same time it will recognize it on the computer. So this PC has come up with a scan. I don't want to scan the file. Usually that won't pop up for you. Then you go to my computer. You'll see a removable disk here. Two files are in the main home folder. The Cyclops file. That has the manual and the driver if you ever needed that but all your videos will be kept here in, in the DCIM folder. So you go to the root folder. There's nothing there right now because we haven't recorded any video, but if we do, that's where your AVI files will be kept. Now, like any other USB device to eject, you come down here, and you eject the device before you remove the cable. So when it's safe to remove, then you can unplug the cable and that's how you access your files on a PC. The same, it's very similar for a Mac. Um, I'll show you actually I'll show you by recording a video and then we'll, we'll bring it up. So to record a video you hold this down for three seconds. The green light will come on on the inside arm and it will start flashing. When it starts flashing then you're recording. So right now I'm just recording the two computers. I'll hold the same button again for three seconds. The green light will turn off. That means you've stopped recording. And now if I want to view that video I've just taken, I can plug it into a computer. Um, this time we'll do it with a Mac. I'll plug the mini USB cable in the other end to the computer then just like before I hold down the on button for three seconds the green light will turn on and there'll be a couple of second delay just for the computer to recognize the USB device now in my this computer we have iPhoto which automatically recognizes this video on this file. So if you wanted to import all your videos you could use iPhoto just by selecting that and import selected or if you just want to edit and view the videos first you would close iPhoto and open up the USB uh, file itself. It's called No Name. Uh, you can go to Finder and find it here under Devices or in this case it also comes up on your desktop so if I double click on that I have the same root two root folders Cyclops manual and driver or the DCIM so if I double click on DCIM I come to the same folder I had on the PC but in this case the video has been saved there in an AVI format so if I want to view that video I can just double click on it play it and this is the video we've just taken of my two computers. 
So if I want to edit the video, I can save it on my computer, do whatever I'd like with it. If I want to delete it, uh, I can just drag it to the move to trash or I could delete by clicking delete on PC. So I've removed it and then make sure that you eject the USB device just like any other. Click here to eject and then I can remove the cable. And that's it.